In 2020, during the world pandemic, an article appeared on the internet. A man from Russia claimed that he escaped the quarantine to the Mars. I made some research and indeed I found these coordinates of so-called Mars in the Urals of Russia. According to the maps, this place is located far away from civilization with the closest locality, Troitske, a small village in Sverdlovsk region. I've decided to check whether these pictures were in fake and to find this red planet in Russia. As it turned out, the closest city to the red planet of Russia is city Yekaterinburg, which is two hours flight from Moscow. So, let's fly to the Mars. Yekaterinburg. I slept through the whole flight and feel really good right now. Let's go to the city center. This is my first time to Yekaterinburg. Yeah, Russia is huge, so I haven't been to many places. The city Yekaterinburg got its name after the name of Yekaterina, Catherine, Catherine I, because Peter the Great gave this city as a gift to his wife and named the city after her. Why would someone's husband give cities as gifts and mine gives me bags and dresses? Huh? No, he wouldn't even give me dresses. I don't have a husband at all, so... Let's walk the streets of Yekaterinburg, see what the city is like. There are some rankings about which cities of Russia are the most smiling and Yekaterinburg is one of the first and even higher in the ranking than Moscow. Do you think it's true or not? I don't know. Look what I found here. A capsule of time. It says that it was put here in 2018 and it says to open it in 25 years at this year. Hmm. I wonder what is there. In May and June there is poplar fluff everywhere. Looks like snow. A pigeon is in this fluff. <laughs> and this fluff is everywhere in your mouth, in your eyes. And I don't know if other countries also have this problem with poplar fluff. I was told that many years ago when these trees were planted in Russia nobody knew that it would give so much fluff but now we have this problem. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. In Russia we have snow that is never melted. It's here even when it's plus 30 outside. Since we're here let me tell you some facts about Yekaterinburg. Yekaterinburg is the fourth largest city of Russia and its business and investment center. It's unofficially called the third capital of Russia. The country's largest metallurgical enterprises are concentrated here and metal produced by Yekaterinburg plants was used to build some of the world's famous landmarks such as New York's Statue of Liberty, the Eiffel Tower and the Houses of Parliament in London. This metal is very important for the world. Tomorrow is June 12th and it will be Russia Day, so it will be a big public holiday celebrated in all the cities and now they are rehearsing for the concert. There will be concerts everywhere as well.
мой город все время стремится вперед. Поэтому стоим красиво, улыбаемся, делаем радостные счастливые лица. Фальсар, дубль. Игорь, иди еще. Я тебе махну, мой хороший. Есть многое на свете, друг Горацио, что недоступно нашим мудрецам. Гимн России, пожалуйста. Стоп! Еще раз, сначала. Дубль пятый. There are many good spots in Yekaterinburg to visit, but it wasn't my final destination, so it was time to set off for the Ural Mars. There are two main problems in Russia, fools and roads, as once a famous writer Nikolai Gogol said. <laughs> Russian roads. <laughs> Look what we saw on our way. A real Russian деревня. Hey! Hey guys! What are you doing here? At Parshina village I found this farm with around 80 goats where anyone can come to buy goat milk, cheese, cottage cheese made of goat milk or to hang out with these guys. My new friends in the Urals. Yeah, I made some friends here. I didn't expect this no. on our way. <laughs> Ships milk. Very similar to cow's milk and cookies from uh, cottage cheese, also from ship's milk. <laughs> Biscuits for everyone. Small babies. <laughs> After recharging with the milk and cookies at the beautiful farm of Parshina, it was time to reach the final destination. <sighs> I'm at the spot of the Ural Mars, actually inside of one of the cracks. We're going down. Oh, it's gonna be pretty difficult. I feel like in a movie 127 hours. No, 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 no. The way down is gonna be pretty difficult, but I already see where I want to go. We need to go there. I'm gonna run because it's few hours before the sunset. So why does this place look like a red planet, you're gonna ask. Do you think I painted it? Probably. I was painting it the whole night. Actually, it's just a set of clay quarries. This is one of the biggest deposits in the Urals. <coughs> I'm not alone here. It occupies the area of 75 square kilometers. So this planet is huge. 
this clay is very varied in color there is red orange white in some places it has dried out and there are cracks there's practically no vegetation here but there are several supernatural lakes of brown or red color and they give this landscape a martian appearance it has such color because the clay contains large quantity of quartz marcasite inventine or rutile the red vibrant color should i go for a swim there hmm? what do you think guys actually if you decide to come here i don't know if you come here because it's in the middle of nowhere uh, but if you are here don't swim or you can't go swimming or even touch the water because it's polluted by the waste from the plant it has many chemicals which are very bad for your body and your health so you can't touch this water i even heard that if it's too hot you shouldn't be nearby this water which i'm doing right now technically you're not supposed to come here this is an industrial zone not a touristic place but can it stop an instagrammer or even worse a youtuber oh. if you don't take into account those trees you really feel like on mars there are not humans but martians here see <laughs> martians are beautiful in fact <laughs> okay now when it's kind of late there are no people and it really feels like you're on another planet <gasps> So if you see your friend's pictures with Martian landscape, you will know that it was taken here. Guys, I'm going to wait for your comments. Please tell me what other unusual places you would like me to visit in Russia and to film a vlog about it. It might be some small city in the middle of nowhere, but something very interesting and that no one or barely few people filmed about i want to find something very unique thank you a lot for watching my videos you were so supportive lately and it motivates me a lot to create more videos so thank you and i'm gonna see you in my next vlog when i'm back from mars